right, kiddos, here we are. We're going to have a book today about, <clears throat> maybe you know this one, Goldilocks and the Three Bears. And I'm sure you've heard that the Three Bears like to have their porridge. Well, today we're going to talk about porridge. But before we talk about that, we are going to set the table. Now, we set the table before. Today we're going to try to remember and we might add a little bit to it, okay? Here we go. I made it very colorful, just for you. And here I have a very colorful plate. And what do you need to put after a plate? A napkin. And you might like to fold it in half. I always like making it look pretty. Now remember our song? Forks on the Forks on the left, forks on the left, forks on the left. So I'm going to put my fork napkin over here because a napkin always goes under a fork. Okay, so there's your napkin, there's your plate. Now, what do you put on top of the napkin? Forks on the left, forks on the left, forks on the left, a fork. Good. Now, this is where the fork goes. The knife goes on the other side. And so... I have a knife and I'm going to put it on the other side. Okay, it's important to remember something about setting a table. You see that sharp edge right there? Mm hmm. May not be that sharp, but even if it isn't very sharp, it always goes in towards the plate to keep the sharp side guide, kind of shielded from hurting anyone. So you always put the knife in like this. And after your knife, you always put your spoon, spoon, and this is what Goldilocks and Three Bears are going to use is a spoon. So I'm going to put that just like that. Now remember, we talked about this. I brought for you a special cup. Now, where do you put a cup? Do you put it over here by the fork or over here by the knife? Do you remember? Yes, your cup is always straight above the knife. The knife points at it because most people drink with their right hand and that's the easy way to get it and they would set it right back there. Okay, forks on the left, knife turned in towards the plate, and a spoon. Now, if you have a chance today at lunch or dinner, I want you to set the table. I want you to set the table for everyone. This is one of your school assignments. I want you to set the table. I want you to put a plate on first. Then I want you to put all the nap napkins on next, all the way around the table. Then I want you to put on forks right on top of the napkin. And on the other side, I want you to put your knife curved in and a spoon last. Can you do that? And then you're going to put your cup at the top. Now, I'm gonna explain a little bit more about this, but first, let's read our book. Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Now this is a retelling of it, so it's a little goofier than some versions. But we do know very well the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. This one is adapted by Carolyn Booner and Mark Booner. Once upon a time in a little house in the woods, there lived a family of bears. There was Papa Bear and Mama Bear and little bear. Now, every morning the bear family would sit down to eat breakfast and every morning their breakfast was the same, a bowl of porridge. But one morning no one was able to eat any pear porridge at all. This porridge is too hot, said Papa Bear. Mama Bear took a small nibble of hers. Oh dear, it is too hot. Then wee little bear, who loved porridge more than anything, took the biggest bite he could from his wee little bowl. When Mama and Papa looked at him, he tried to say, more porridge is just right, but because his mouth was so full, it sounded like, my porch has a bus light. Hmm, said Papa Bear. I know what we'll do, said Mama Bear. We will all go for a walk. 
By the time we come back home, our porridge will be perfect. So Papa Bear grabbed his hat and Mama Bear grabbed Wee Little Bear's hand and little Wee Little Bear tried to grab his wee little bowl of porridge. But Mama Bear was already out the door. Off they hammered down the path. The bear family was hardly out of sight when a little girl with yellow curls came skipping rope down the path. She skipped right up to the little house and pounded on the door and said, Tra la la, tee hee hee, won't you come and jump with me? Well, of course, no one was home, so of course, no one answered. Turn the page, Mrs. Paris. The little girl, whose name was Goldilocks, tried again. Hey, she said, and she banged on the door. This time it flew open. Goldilocks skipped into the living room without missing a step. When she saw the three little bears' chairs, she said, Big chair, middle chair, little chair too. Somebody's here to bounce on you. Goldilocks pulled herself up on Papa's big chair and jumped, jumped, jumped. His chair has no bounce at all. All, said Goldilocks. So next she climbed on Mama's bear's medium chair. But soon as she tried, she sank way down inside. This chair makes me feel so small, said Goldilocks. So then Goldilocks looked over at the wee little chair for wee little bear. And she grinned. But that chair looks just right. I'll jump me up an appetite. So she climbed up on the wee little chair and she jumped and the chair bounced. And Goldilocks jumped and bounced and jumped and bounced and jumped and bounced until she jumped right through the wee little chair. Oopsie daisy, what a mess, she giggled. Bounced a bit too much, I guess. So she hopped right up. And she saw the three little bowls of porridge on the table and started skipping again. Porridge, porridge, sitting in a bowl. I'm going to eat till I am full. Goldilocks tasted a spoonful of the porridge from the great big bowl. Ouch, she said, and she spit it out. This porridge is too hot. Next, Goldilocks helped herself to the medium bowl of porridge and gave herself a spoonful and she shivered. Woohoo! This one's certainly not. Then Goldilocks tasted a spoonful of the porridge in the wee little bowl. Mmm, mmm. Finally, this porridge tastes just right to me. Goldilocks ate and ate until there wasn't even one bit left in the wee little bowl. Then she let out an enormous yawn. <sighs> Goodness, I'm a sleepy head. I think I'll jump right into bed. Not her house, though, is it? Meanwhile, Mama Bear and Papa Bear and Wee Little Bear were just returning from their long, beautiful walk. They were very hungry, but when they saw that the door of the house was open, they stopped. <gasps> How very strange, said Papa Bear. Do you think someone's inside, said Mama Bear. Maybe it's a wild beast, said little wee bear. The bear family hurried into the living room. There's no mistake about it. Someone's been sitting in my chair, said Papa Bear. Hmm, looks like someone's been sitting in my chair too, said Mama Bear. Oh, what's Baby Bear looking at? <gasps> Look! Wee Little Bear's eyes grew very, very big as he pointed to the mess on the floor. Someone's been sitting in my chair and broke it into bits! Bits! Maybe it's a monster. Then the three bears saw the table. Someone's been eating my porridge, said Papa Bear. 
someone's been eating my porridge, too, said Mother Bear. We little bear looked at his bowl. Something's been eating my porridge. I think it must be an alien. The three little bears were very, very disturbed. Together, they tiptoed up to the bedroom. M my, my bed, said Papa Bear. Someone's been laying in my bed. Look, said Mother Bear. Someone's been laying in my bed, too. Something's been laying in my bed, too, said Lee Wee Little Bear. And, well, I think it might still be there. The three little bears crept over to the wee little bed. And when they saw Goldilocks, they were frightened. It's a wild beast, said Papa. It's, it's a monster, said Mama. It's an alien, said Baby Bear. The bear family didn't know what to do. Finally, Wee Bear reached up and poked the jump rope. Goldilocks' eyes popped open. <gasps> Eek, said the three bears. Eek, said Goldilocks. She threw off the covers and sprang right out of bed. Pardon me if I don't stay. I just think I'll jump away. Goldilocks leaped right out of the window and ran away before the three bears even had stopped yelling. The bears watched Goldilocks until she was out of sight. I declare, said Mama Bear, I'm so upset I couldn't eat a bite. Papa Bear looked at Wee Little Bear and Wee Little Bear looked at Papa Bear. We could they said. Hmm, said Mother Bear, but she mixed up a huge another pot of porridge anyway. And this time it was just right. Maybe that is the end, but I want you to look at his porridge. Do you think you might like porridge? Well, you're in for a treat because today Mrs. Paris might just have a little bit of wee porridge. Close up my book and put it away. Now we have set the table, remember? Forks on the left, knife, spoon, cup, plate, and here we have some nice fresh porridge. Now do you usually eat out of a measuring cup? No, you do not. You usually eat out of a bowl, but how do you put a bowl on a nice big dinner plate. Well, you may not be having dinner right now, so what you would do is you would not use a dinner plate if you were going to use a bowl. You would actually take the dinner plate away unless the bowl was for soup or salad at the beginning of a meal. But right now, you're just having porridge, so the way you would do it is you'd put a smaller plate called a salad plate down, and on top of the salad plate, you would put your bowl. And that is how you would set the table for a breakfast of porridge. Now, if you are going to have a dinner, okay, if you're going to have a dinner and with that dinner was a salad, you'd put a salad plate. And with that dinner was a soup, you'd put a soup plate and you'd stack all three. Soup, salad, and dinner. But this is breakfast for the three little bears. So we're just gonna look at the porridge. Here we go. This is the way it would be set. And if your mama was serving the food, she would put the porridge right here. Mmm, doesn't that look delicious? <laughs> In your bowl. Some of you might say, oh, that looks terrible, Mrs. Paris. Others would say, mm, that doesn't look so bad. This is porridge. Porridge is kind of a watered down um, meal. Meal as in like cornmeal or could even be wheat meal that has been watered down. This is a breakfast instead of like your cold cereal. Some people think cream of wheat is more of a porridge, which this is kind of like cream of wheat. Anyway, so this is the way you would eat. You would eat with this bowl on this plate. Why would you have a plate? Well 
to catch the spills. It's a very smart idea, whoever thought this up. Now for breakfast, if you're just going to have something that requires a spoon and you're not having anything else like toast or something that you have to cut up like sausage, you wouldn't need to put a knife on the table. In fact, if you were even going to have need of a fork, you wouldn't have to put the fork on the table, but your napkin would still go here, okay? All right, you guys did a good job listening. Now I really want you to think about it. I want you today to set the table for your whole family at one meal, okay? All right, enjoy your porridge. Open wide. Roar!